Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So I've got pinged on Reddit and gotten a bunch of emails over this one article, Apple's Mac shipments fall more than 40% worse than major rivals. Apple getting what they deserved and the person that pinged me. Honestly, I don't think that that's what's actually happening here. If you take a look, I've gone over Apple's engineering failures for years. Like there's a video I have in my channel. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel that I go, I go through from the perspective of a professional repair person. And I go through every single year of Apple's products all of the issues with them and how you fix them, and specifically, more importantly, how Apple responded to these issues or failed to respond to these issues, how their repair programs were often junk, where you have, again, you have machines like this one where Apple's rework is, it literally just looks like somebody put a heat gun to the board. It's just 10 years of Apple, in my opinion, treating their customers like absolute garbage. And Apple stock just goes up and up and up. The sales and the market share all keeps going up. So why would sales be down 40% year over year in the first quarter? And why would sales be down more than they are for, you know, for Asus, Dell, HP, and Lenovo? I don't think it has to do with the fact that the product is bad. I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't even think that their products have actually materially gotten worse in that way. Again, when you look at what you can get from Apple right now, when you look at the M1 and the M2 MacBook Airs and Pros, these are the same, like again, get you, getting the base level MacBook Air for $999, that's pretty much the same price that it's been for over 10 years. If you're looking at getting a base MacBook Pro, the Mac, base MacBook Pro 13 inch is pretty much the $1299 that it has been for a very long period of time. And these processors are way better than what you get from most PC manufacturers. A lot of PC manufacturers are still using garbage Intel processors and devices where the efficiency is horrible. Like I open Google Chrome and the fan turns on. It's like, it's, this machine doesn't have a fan. You can encode video on this machine. It takes a few watts of power. It encodes video insanely fast. The battery lasts 15 hours. Like, I'll be honest with you. I despise their products, but I can understand the appeal. This is tempting. The appeal to buy a MacBook in 2023, in my opinion, is far more appealing and it's far more compelling than the case to buy an Apple product over a PC 10 or 15 years ago. This stuff is actually pretty good. There is a value proposition here that you do not get with older Apple products. With older Apple products, you get you get Apple's operating system and maybe the hardware looks nicer, but at the end of the day, the hardware is just, you know, in my opinion, and well, let's just be real, objectively speaking, in many ways, a steaming pile of shit. Whereas here, the hardware is just leaps and bounds ahead of so many PC manufacturers where, again, like you spend top dollar on a machine, the battery life is garbage, the processing power is nowhere near an M1 or an M2, and, you know, again, the, I, I, it just infuriates me when I see somebody open five tabs in Chrome and their fan turns on their laptop. I'll be honest with you, that shit just pisses me off. You don't have that with these machines. I don't think that the reason the sales are going down has anything to do with Apple getting theirs. It's not about them getting, this is not a lesson. It's not like, you know, you did not help people when they had motherboard failures. Your idea of fixing their board was to roast the crap out of it with a horrible BGA rework process that again, as I go over in this video, literally looks like they took a heat gun to the board. This is not because you ignored your customers uh, every single time they had a problem with your products with demonstrable design defects that I go over in great detail for over 10 years. I'll link that video down below. I think this is happening because the economy is just kind of going to shit and people are going, you know what? I was willing to spend $9.99 on a computer 10 years ago. I was willing to spend $12.99 on a computer three years ago. Not willing to now. I'm going to go for the cheaper computer. I don't think this has anything to do with Apple's machines not being liquid resistant. It's not about them soldering the SSD onto the board. It's not about them being anti-right to repair. It's not about them having poor performance because, again, the performance on these machines, for all the things I criticize Apple products for, performance on these things is pretty fucking nice. This has nothing to do with how they've treated their customers. If customers were going to leave Apple because they got treated like shit, that would have happened 10 years ago. If this was about them having design defects in their products 10 years ago, not recalling when they have design defect 10 years ago. This, in my opinion, is people going over to HEB or Whole Foods or Walmart and going, you know, when I used to buy this amount of groceries, it was $50. Now it's $84. Mm. This is about people getting notices that their rent is going up by 20 or 25%. This is about people getting notices from the local property assessor that the value of your property has went from here to here, so your property tax is now going from here to here, even though you live in the same house. This, in my opinion, is about macroeconomic conditions. It is not about Apple getting theirs, nor do I think they are going to learn a lesson from this. I don't think that they're going to learn any lesson from this. I think that Apple is going to learn what everybody else is learning at the same time, 
which is that when there is a crappy economy, people decide that they're not going to spend $1,200 to $1,300 on a luxury Facebook machine anymore. And as much as people, I think, are expecting me to come out and say, yes, this is because Apple makes, it, you know, people are protesting because they saw Lewis's video on the ISL 9240 on availability or the CD3217. People are finally listening to, like, no, they're not. This channel has literally no effect on Apple's revenue. If you look at my subscribers over the years and then you look at Apple's revenue, I mean, it's just like, no. This has absolutely nothing to do with me whatsoever and everything to do with the fact that the economy is just kind of going to shit and people are deciding, you know what? I ain't spending money on that anymore. I'm just not spending money on that anymore. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Here's a cat. The one thing that we do still spend money on is Halo. Halo is very expensive cat food, but it's one of the few cat foods that Blackberry and Clinton respond well to. Mr. Clinton has had urinary crystals in the past. We had to give him this Hills Science, uh, the prescription diet BS, but I, I much prefer the Halo, and he seems to prefer the Halo and react very well to it as well, so he gets Halo, and so does Blackberry. It's very expensive food, but my berry is worth it, because she's my berry. She's a very lovely kitty. love her very much. I'm going to miss her when I go on my road trip over the next week and a half. Anyway, that's it for today. And as always, hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video.